hand, uh, mm -hmm. how much time people have on their hands. Yes. Um, maybe too much time. Ma maybe too much. <laughs> uh, we've talked a lot about David Squirrel. Yes. And I've been tormented by a squirrel if you've not kept up with this story. I think everybody knows. No, we're try <laughs> no all of Pittsburgh knows. We're trying to make friends with the squirrel, by the way. Oh, good. And you got me the picnic table. I have yet to put it in the tree, but it's down in the yard. The squirrel has been in the yard before, but will not go to the picnic table. So everybody that I've, I've read some comments, mm -hmm. and they say that you should affix it to something, either okay. the fence or a tree that maybe the yard, like maybe it leaves it vulnerable if right. it's down on the ground. Right. I don't it know. thinks it's a trap. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I will do that. But in the meantime, we want to show you what this guy with a lot of time on his hands <laughs> did, did. He lives outside Columbus, Ohio, oh and he is a woodworker and he posts things, uh, YouTube videos all the time of things he does, but he created a squirrel bar. These are different nuts yeah. flavors that the squirrel can partake in. The nutty bar. The nutty bar. Now, listen, his craftsmanship is I it's mean, beautiful. it's fantastic. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he knows what he's, he's doing. Talented. And he has a big following, actually, on YouTube. Yeah. But, but this has um, put him over the top. This has gone viral. Yeah. Because people love squirrels, and this is just adorable. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what flavor that was. So, <laughs> really got him. Yeah. Uh, so